What are your expectations of how big the ECB rate hike will be and what would that mean for the euro? So the size of the next ECB interest rate uh, rate hike is, of course, the key question. Um, and I think the, deba uh, the debate uh, for the upcoming ECB meeting really reflects uh, tensions between the near-term worsening inflation outlook and um, the weakening economy in the eurozone. And following the Jackson Hole Symposium, like there, we have obviously heard from several ECB uh, governing council members favouring a bigger 75 basis point rate hike um, because of the higher near-term inflation. And of course, we have heard the news uh, over the weekend saying that the Russian gas uh, giant will cut off the gas supplies to the eurozone, and that really supports the case for a bigger rate hike. But in my uh, view, I think uh, the odds favor a smaller 50 basis point hike. And that's because of the looming recession uh, in the eurozone. And I think uh, even even with the uh, bigger near-term inflation pressures, I think the medium-term inflation projection will likely be contained mm. around uh, the ECB so target around 2%. I mean, money markets were pricing in still a 75 basis points hike. I mean, not as much as they did last week, about 80 percent to 65 percent in swap rates markets. But if they do not come out with a 75 basis points and they go with a 50 basis points, then, Carol, what would that mean for the euro, which has already been immensely pressured against the U.S. dollar? I think that would mean further downward pressure on the euro dollar. Um, I mean, euro is already struggling amid the energy gas supply issues um, in Europe. And I think a smaller pace of rate hike yeah, from the ECB would also exert more downward pressure on the euro. And I think chances are that the euro dollar could remain below parity for the, for the upcoming months. How great is the risk that uh, we don't see this rate hike, no matter what size it is, fully filter down to money markets? Yeah, that just shows that there are a lot of uncertainties relating to the inflation and the growth outlook in the Eurozone. I mean, I don't think the ECB committee itself has reached a consensus uh, yet on the next rate hike. And I think that just will, uh, will further fuel uh, market speculations for further um, for, uh, for the mon monetary policy path down the track. Yeah, can you give us a sense of just the magnitude of the task here for the ECB? Because, uh, yes, inflation is an issue, but at the same time, there's a very severe energy crisis gripping the continent. Yes, certainly the energy issues are the biggest challenge facing the Eurozone economy at the moment. Um, a lot of uh, Eurozone, uh, European economies are scrambling to to fill gas storage facilities ahead of winter. And I mean, they, they are ahead of schedule. But the key question is that whether or not they can um, sustain gas inventories um, to meet uh, the upcoming demand. And a lot uh, will hinge on whether or not uh, consumption for gas will increase uh, um, depending on the severity of the uh, winter. So the gas supplies issue certainly will continue to be a downside risk for uh, Eurozone growth and uh, a big challenge for the ECB monetary policy deliberation. Carol, the possibility that we might be seeing that freezing of energy bills in the UK has sent the pound to the lowest since 1985. Uh, what are your expectations on how that will play out in the inflation picture in the UK and whether you know these expectations of, of reining in prices are actually valid? Yeah, so the pound actually got a little boost from uh, the announcement uh, on further energy relief measures from the upcoming um, for the new incoming uh, UK Prime Minister Lee Trust. And um, yes, you're right that the UK is proposing to impose uh, an energy price cap uh, at current levels. And I think if that is uh, true, uh, we could potentially see uh, the UK inflation already peaked already. Um, but again, depending on the nature of the fiscal stimulus package, uh, we could potentially see a bigger challenge facing the BOE, uh, particularly if we see further tax cuts.